if you're going to be a party to this kind of uh, spinning uh, in the media, it's going to you're going to you're going to find yourself in a situation where your credibility is going to be uh, questioned. Acting BBMR director Benita Manglonia was scolded at the legislature today. At issue, the cash shortfall that the new administration has estimated could be as high as 126 million dollars. Senator Rory Respicio was skeptical and questioned the Calvo administration's release of such figures to the public before the administration was sure. You know, we can't be running our government based on press releases and headlines. I think our people deserve more than that, and, and I just don't like what I've been seeing in the last uh, three weeks. Released two weeks ago, the list of $126 million in unfunded liabilities looks like this. $23 million in a COLA judgment, merit bonuses of $1.5 million, health insurance costs up by $13.8 million. Manglonia told lawmakers those figures are not hers, but were provided to her in the transition report, and her staff is currently trying to verify them. I am being <laughs> honest that those figures, most of those numbers came from the transition report. So we, we are just reporting what we had found during the transition. So verify. So, so, so we're trying to verify and update those numbers. Yeah. That's not our numbers. Senator Ben Pangolinan then took his turn, taking Manglonia to task for declaring these are the worst financial times that GovGuam has ever faced. Your opening statement was, this is the worst financial condition we've ever been in? Well, that's what my assessment. It, really? Are, are you sure? Would you sign your CPA certificate on that? Uh, I, I want to assess that first, <laughs> further. Well, that's the point. If you're going to make that kind of statement, you need to assess it first. And you the Appropriations Committee and Chair and the BBMR appointee did not agree on just how much cash GovGuam has brought in in the first quarter of this fiscal year. We, on a revenue side, we weren't, we were, we weren't, I mean, we're not tracking, uh, we're like negative 2.8 percent as far as up to December 31st. I beg to differ. We're negative 0.44 percent. We reserved $2 million, $2 million on the appropriations cap. We are about half a million dollars below projections and below budget. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC so where is News. Where's 2 percent coming from?